Hi everybody, welcome to Old Guy's Garage. Hey everybody, we're back. Got the molding off. So, um, we're going to try to do some, get this old residue off here. Um, not sure what the best plan of approach is, although this is working a little bit, you know, just kind of pushing it. So, I think that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm um, just going to do this to the whole whole bumper, and then uh, we're going to get the new new insert put on. And then, of course, you can use this. I don't know if it's really going to help or not. Oh yeah, I'm just trying to push one way, that way we can get the new one on. So I'm going to go around and do this, and then um, once I get this all cleaned up, we're going to prep it and uh, get the new piece of trim put on. Just about got it all removed. I'm just trying to really just push one way. All right, so we've got all that fun stuff removed. Um, I'm going to get some some kind of prepping um, solvent um, where I can come in there and uh, get the rest of that gunk out and any kind of dirt. Make sure that the uh, the new mold, the chrome trim here, sticks really well for us. So here's a close up of the new and the old. Not quite sure. That could have just been chips, you know, chips from the road. So, anyhow, let's go ahead and get this new piece of trim on. All right, so I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to work my way around, and I'm going to put put about three eighths or so of this trim um, back in behind the bumper piece here. I know I'm using the right piece because thankfully it says a uh, front bumper on this little sticker on this. Come on. There we go. And then we're just going to go around. this guy in. Make sure there's no air bubbles or air pockets. bend here. Make sure I'm making contact with the bumper. Not one to stick. Damn. Oh, yeah, it's 
just not stick up. Gosh, dog. Why won't that stick? It's like it's really sticky, but it just... Well, where's the wife when you need her, right? Shucks. Get some different trim. Stuff I got is just too wide. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Um, I did discover that this trim that I bought is just too wide um, it's just this groove here isn't wide enough no matter how hard I press in to get this tape to stick to the bumper so um, I'm gonna hold off on this my original thought I bought some quarter inch wide double-sided um, 3m tape I was gonna run a bead of this and then try to reapply this however I did find that um, Believe it or not, I do have, okay, we'll stick it there. Okay, I found a whole roll of this goodness downstairs. Must have been from a prior job I did um, on my car years ago. And uh, it still has the protective film on it. So, and if you zoom real close here, not sure if you guys can see that or not but I mean there's the slightest difference in width right there I mean it's minuscule um, I would say it's a millimeter I think this is eight where this is seven uh, the next size down that I've been able to locate online has been six um, I can't find a seven I'm pretty sure this is a seven millimeter so what we're gonna do I'm taking some isopropyl alcohol here I'm gonna clean the back of this and then I'm gonna um, clean this one more time now I'm going to apply my tape bead in here and get this guy clean and we're going to go ahead and apply this. So let's get to it. Clean rag of course. Let's get this clean as a whistle. Still some gunk in there, even though I did clean it last time in my first attempt. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so now I'm just going to let that air fume out a little bit. It's like something got dropped on the front of my car here. Ugh. All these nicks, I tell you. Alright, the emblem's loose a little bit again. So. Alright, so I'm going to wipe this down as I go. Let's see here. 
it's getting whatever gunk you know was on there off it's probably totally destroying the glue what's left on here but that's okay um, I am trying this because um, I saw new chrome inlay bumper kits around a hundred bucks and I'm really hoping that this old stuff works because I don't really want to spend that much um, yeah so let's just see how this goes this is damn near the same width that they used on the back of the, uh, the back of the trim that I'm going to be applying I'm just going to go around, press this in. I'm not going to pull on it. I don't want to stretch it because I don't want to feel like it, I don't want it to feel like it has to stretch back or pull back. So I'm not putting a lot of tension on it. Here. Might go on straighter if I. I'm going to leave the top one alone. It's in decent enough shape. All I wanted to do was replace the bottom one here. It started out with me with me replacing two blinker, the, the one blinker light. I ended up buying two of them back in the day, thankfully. Because those darn things, I think they're like the blinker lenses up front on the side, side marker lights. I think they're darn near $80 now, which is pretty ridiculous. But considering nobody's really making any kind of cool resto parts for this car, you know, that in and of itself is kind of a bummer. I wish I could have done a better job there. Uh, there we go. Okay, so while this red is still on, feel free to push it in some more. There we go, take that off. Put what's left up here. That wasn't cheap. Here's the old stuff. Alright, here's the new. Or, it was new at one point. I don't know how old it is. Okay. I'm just going to clean this off as I go here. I must have bought this somewhere because I had a whole roll of it. And you can see here, when I take this off, you know, it's got that plastic film on it, which honestly, when I put this on back in the day, I may have never took off, and that could have been a part of my problem. So, let's get started here. in as much as possible. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Okay, well, this is, this is where the side's the easy part. The side is the easy part, so let's see if we come around the front here, what kind of luck we're going to have. I can't forget to clean that. I'm getting excited here. It's already sticking fairly well. I'm getting excited. Um, wow, it's working. Un friggin' real. Wow. Just as long as it doesn't come off on the power tour, that'll look, that'll look pretty bad. Yeah, pretty embarrassing. 
I got chrome falling off my car at Power Tour. Man, this is going right in. I have no idea where I bought this. Um, it is a long roll, meaning that it wasn't pre-cut just for the cutlass. So, um, yeah, yeah. if I just knew, guys, um, I would love to tell you. But this is going right in. Nice and neat. Well, what do you all think, man? I think it's coming along pretty good. And it's going right in. I mean, this stuff is going right in. I mean, I got, yeah. It's going right in the green. Like it was made for it. Pretty sure it's seven millimeter. You can buy six and eight online. But ain't that the way it usually is, right? Okay, we're gonna come over here. Okay, now. Whoops, hey now. Man, that's looking good. Whoops. And I also got some door bumper trim on the side. Um, that they sent me five eighths instead of seven eighths, so they botched the order. So I was hoping to do that too. My trim on the side of the car is really, really um, something to be desired. And then I'm just going to go through again and just press it one more time. Man, I'm glad that worked out. I guess we'll see once we get down there. Memphis and Nashville, <laughs> how this holds up in the heat. <laughs> so, all right, cool beans. Here it is. Okay, so just to show you guys, this is what I just put on. This is what was on the car. Okay, you can see it's very similar. I would say what I put on is just a tad wider and this is what they're selling some people are selling in kits so um, it's actually really close to what I just put on but um, for some reason this stuff here worked and this didn't so um, definitely gonna save save some of this old stuff that I have here and uh, and go from there so and this was the original. So really stiff and hard, like it's been on there a while. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna spend the rest of my time here just going around. And uh, seeing if there's any more of that plastic to peel off. I guess I should have done that first, you know. But nobody is perfect. That's for sure. What we just accomplished. So I think it looks really good. The top one I'm gonna leave on for now. But man, the bottom one's in there. The bottom one's holding. I'm gonna check it, check it tomorrow. But man, I can't complain. Can't complain. Yeah, it's in there, man. Awesome. Awesome. So hope this tip helped you guys out. Whether you have an Oldsmobile or a Monte Carlo Buick where you might have some of this inlaid trim. Pretty easy to do, just make sure the surface is clean and you have the right, right width of trim. So you, maybe you could even get a sample from somebody you're interested in buying it from. So, not quite sure why it was. Um, I, I'm pretty sure the, the stuff that I was tried earlier was just too wide and didn't want to go in. I couldn't get it pressed in the groove, but maybe it was just the tape too. I don't know. So. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned, man. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hope to see you in Nashville, Memphis. That's where we're heading soon uh, for the power tour. So um, anyhow, just remember, whether it's a muscle car, a classic car, your dream car, race car, let's keep them running. And uh, we'll see you next time.
Ciao.